Part 36, Chosen One series, is it normal to have beings come to fight or lucid dream them? My normal ain't gonna be your normal. Your normal ain't gonna be my normal. What's normal is what's ever going on in your world, in your universe, the universe that you created within. That's gonna be the norm, like, right? That's going to be your battles to fight, and only yours. Your demons, some people call it, your lower self, which I know it to be. It comes, but in lucid dreaming, it's preparing you. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. Are you prepared for heaven, or are you prepared to take over that lucid dream or not? If it's lucid, come on, God. Put some order in there. Control it. Control that dream. That's the job. That's the purpose of it. For you to bring order in the midst of chaos. Whether we're talking about sleep paralysis, the lucid dreaming, astral projecting, any ascensions, order. So that means you have to apply some wisdom up in there. That means you can't be fearful up in there. Like, the most powerful energy can win. And if the powerful energy is us having fear, well, the lower energy got you that time. Good luck the next time around. You have, a have, you have to have a knowing of who or what you are. The biblical text says, God hasn't given me the spirit of fear, but power, love, sound mind. So is the mind sound enough to control the lucid dream or not? Maybe at one point it is not. But that's a beautiful thing. Because gifts have to emerge from you in order to get to the place where it is. And then when you get to the place where it is, you look back and you're like, man, I'm so happy I finally learned how to control the dream. I remember once upon a time I couldn't. And look at all of the gifts, the beautiful gifts that emerge from me because of that. And those same gifts that emerge from me because of that, I can use those same gifts over here in another area of my life. Because things are always working out for you.